Danny, uh, is, is this another horny game? Maybe? It's rated Cero 15. By the way, let me say this up front. There's no nudity in these games. Sorry. Yeah, there's... The, I can't you won't believe see any that the nudity. only nudity happened in the first game. You won't see any nudity from now on. I can't believe that only... That's terrible. Uh. I still... Yeah, let's just... Let's, that let's never, never happened. Let's never speak of Come On Baby again. Anyway, here's something far more wholesome. This is the miniskirt police. Of all things, it is more wholesome. I'd say so, yeah. This is a game you could show your grandma. You should also note from this point on, we are officially doing Simple 2000 Survival Mode. We are going to be blazing through these games as quickly as possible. Oh my gosh. So they have a few minutes to impress me here. Show me, show me what you got, miniskirt police. This game is actually new to me. I don't think I've ever actually played this one. I have high hopes. You can't just make a crappy game with that name. That wouldn't be fair. This game also looks really cool. It does! That's the thing about these games. They often have a unique style to them. Like, they put effort into the presentation. Even if the uh, graphics themselves in-game aren't so great. Taizo Hori points out, from the developer of Super Back to the Future 2. Wow, that is some pedigree. Oh my god. That game is notable for being perhaps the only good Back to the Future game. Alright, my expectations are through the roof. Let's get this started. So this game is going to combine the best elements from Back to the Future with mini skirts. I'm excited. Get to see Marty McFly in a mini skirt. I... Doc Brown coming in on the DeLorean. I was going to say, does the DeLorean have a mini skirt too? He went to the future to buy the future mini skirts. Brought them back to the '80s. Finally. <laughs> Striking a sassy pose here in uh, the alley. Okay, well, it's a third-person action game, and there's the crawl button. Boop, boop, boop. Sorry, that crawling in the animation. <laughs> oh no, it's a stealth game. Oh man. Yep, got it. That guy looks like he wants to be beaten up. Let's oblige him. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? Oh my god! <laughs> Sir, it's illegal to cop a squat after midnight. <laughs> oh my god. I like how you just return to, like, whatever pose. Yeah. <laughs> well? Damn. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that no cell on this guy. He's just standing there taking it. Murder him! Yeah, he's murdered. Well, he what made it. Fuck? He made some of our clothes explode, but we've still got most of our clothes, so we're good. This uh, I... this game. You perhaps more of a, a budget-looking game than the other games we've shown so far. You your clothing exploded off of you. <laughs> oh no! It's gonna happen again. God damn it! Who keeps loading your clothing with mild explosives? The, the worst part is the game has to stop to load, so you're all like, oh god, here it comes. Is oh, this man. another Tam- no, this isn't another Tamsoft game, this is by someone else. But oh, I didn't catch the developer, but yeah, it's not Tamsoft. Oh god. So these environments look okay- I have grenades, Alex. <laughs> That's why your clothing keeps exploding! Jesus! Nice. Revenge is sweet. The mini skirt police will throw grenades at your head. The mini skirt police clothing explodes when you're dead. Police. And now we're banned from Twitch. <laughs> See, now I like the game. <laughs> That's fucking great. I that is that is so good. I take it back, this game is great. Yeah, yeah. 
Miniskirt Police gets a thumbs up from us. Or cares. Yep. I assume it wants us to sneak past these guys, given that they have field of vision in the uh, radar over there. Unfortunately, I'm out of grenades, so ah, I can't pull my, uh, Danny, no! my usual tactics. Oh man, that was awesome, though. <laughs> what if I just ran away? Is that an option? Clothing already exploded two times, it can't explode again. Yeah. I don't have much clothing left. Okay, it was telling me to go towards this direction. Hey! Don't just run up and slug me, I'm the miniskirt police! Uh, it leads here? Oh no, I don't think I can do this with these guys uh, surrounding me. Alright, they need to start leaving. <laughs> I just love your run, the way you just kind of like... Your arms like hang loose to your oh, side. Boy. Oh no, dead end! Go that way. Can I outrun these guys? Maybe. Let's make this cinematic. Their, their walking animation is <laughs> the literal worst. The literal crap boys! What's happening? Uh, uh, well... Did you explode? Yes! Well, now you've completely exploded. So and so the mini skirt police has, uh, has emerged from her cocoon as a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> so, this game is simultaneously more and less than I expected, if that makes any sense. It's uh, it's pretty simple as far as brawlers go. Yeah, they're telling you to kill these guys now. But and, on the uh, other apparently, hand... Apparently, uh, according to chat, they said, your, your trial will be at the city morgue after you... Uh, Oh my god. After you, ex after you exploded that bad. Well, we lost our entire dress, but we survived. Oh my god, so... Nice pick, guys. Gotta say. <laughs> this is a good start to the second half of the show. Oh, he called me a cockroach. Wow, you have to murder him now. What's with the little Spanish flea playing in the background? It's like bootleg Spanish flea, I like it. Yeah. Dude, he caught me a cookie booty and a baka. Jeez. I'm sick of this guy. Okay, so here's how you fix this game, right? Mm -hmm. You put in a game genie, mm -hmm. you use the code for infinite grenades. Yes. And that's how you play it. Miniskirt Police gets a tentative thumbs up from me. The uh, the brawling, real bad. The grenading guys, real good. I, I'm torn. But for now, that's, a, that's, a, that's an approval from us. Mm -hmm. Miniskirt Police, thumbs up. Let's move on. Alright, what else did you, did you degenerates vote for? What's next on the list? Don't. Oh, the swim meet of covered woman. I never would have expected that would have been a popular <laughs> pick. <laughs> when this game first came out and people began taking pre-orders for it, they listed the title as The Water Sports. Which, I remember The Water Sports. Which is a little bit different from what this game what this game actually yeah, is. It's, also, it's... I think it's this one's two players, so you can join in on the fun. The fun. No, this one's real good. I've seen this one before. So you pick up this game at your local hard off, and you see like uh, a lady in a bikini, in a in a pool with another lady, and you think, "Yep, this is what I'm spending two thousand yen on." And if that's that's what you drive your purchasing decisions behind, that's what. <laughs> if that's the logic you follow in purchasing games, oh, you won't be disappointed. Is back. And it's another Tamsoft classic. Oh man, this game. This game is basically what you think it is. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna beat around the bush here. I love this game, I'm so sorry. Let's make it a two-player game. So we have many ladies we can choose from. All experts in water sports. It's, it's true though. That lady's wearing a ribbon. Oh wait, no, that's just a. Man, who do I wanna be? 
you later with the glasses. Okay, first event. The, uh, Don't Kids game? Okay. <laughs> Alright, you use Circle and X in this game. Okay. And, uh, Trap of Luxury gives us a more accurate translation of the game as uh, New Bikini! Girls oh, Everywhere! The Swim Meet! Nice! I like that title. I'm Alice Chan. Hey, Alice. You're Kana Chan. Oh, please don't look at me. <laughs> I don't know about this. Okay, so, uh, this is the classic foot bouncing game. Damn it! Your ass! I have the best ass in the world. Look at this. Yep, very simple dodging and counterattacking game, but it's about butt bashing. <laughs> Alright, you win the butt game. This game was recently adapted into an anime. It's called Keijo. Yeah, uh, Chad is talking about Keijo. Yep, that's exactly what it is. They made an anime about the, uh, the, the butt bouncing game, yeah. competition. The hip toss, as they call it. You really don't want to be here. <laughs> Why did you even enroll? I know! Did it. Oh, that's no fair. I'm just gonna, like, overshoot it. Kana, 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 Kana. You did it! I think I made it. Not as good as me, though. The song. I know, it's so happy. She goes, eh. And again, this was released in Europe. This was called Party Girls over there. And like the other translations, they got rid of all the voices, which is a real shame for this mm -hmm. game, especially. Because this game's all about presentation. Alright, push the buttons. That's the instructions. Can do. Man, that crowd. Not looking too good. Oh god, no. Oh, they're Geocities gifts. You found someone's shrine. <laughs> yeah. You found someone anime bait shrine on Geocities. So a button you have to press like all of them. I'm pushing all of them. But uh, heard you talking shit. <laughs> that was good. You you oh. kicked my ass oh, in that one. Oh, uh, lets us know that the voices were in the Euro version. Oh, were they? Good. That's great. Apparently, they had full, fully, su <laughs> pardon, fully, fully subtitled voice acting. Can't What'd you say? <laughs> you say about me? So by now you should be <laughs> getting a good grasp on what Simple 2000s all about. It's all about boobs and mini games for the most part. Yeah. And again, if that's what you're after, you can get that for 2,000 yen. Okay. You have many options at your disposal. <laughs> Doki Doki Balloon. <laughs> I realize now this game also may be kind of loud, but who cares? <laughs> you need the television announcer presentation for this. Um. I see. Then you push circle when you're done. Okay. It's a very risky game we're playing. You go ahead. Oh my god, Alex. Your turn. Oh my god. One more. There we go. Oh my god. Here you go. You. <laughs> no, I'm done. Here 
fearless. Oh god. I have no fear. <laughs> the stakes have never been higher. This there you go. is about to explode. <laughs> I'm mad, yes. Oh, this is ridiculous. We're all gonna die. Oh god! <laughs> That legit my scared hoopers. you, didn't it? <laughs> yes, it did. My hoopers got me there. <sighs> oh, uh, let's watch a replay of the whole thing. Hey, let's no, not. No, not. <laughs> All right. I'm up three to one. Uh, sorry to say there's no way you can win this, but let's go ahead and go with the final game here. All right. We're fishing, looks like. Finish up the swim meet. This ain't no swim meet I've ever been to. <laughs> Yeah, I got this. Can I just go home? Please, I'm still scared. Oh! Wow, I suck. Now I'm shaking my butt in the pool. <laughs> Might as well make the most out of it. Wow, we both lost. Mm -hmm. And that concludes the worst episode ever of the swim meet of covered women. <laughs> Please, don't watch our show anymore. <laughs> we were cancelled halfway through the episode. Pulled us right off the air. <sighs> oh, it's the interview. Oh. Thanks to mom, dad, and everyone. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> no bye. <laughs> well, that game really spoke for itself. I, I enjoy it. I can't hate that game. It's, it's so brightly game. colorful and happy. <laughs> it's not really lurid or anything. It's <laughs> like... It's... I don't know. Yeah. I'm not gonna try to defend it. All I can say is... This game is what it is. And if you're into <laughs> that, God bless you. <laughs> Let's move on. Mm -hmm. Looks like next, you uh, wonderful people voted for... Da -da -da, the Maid Outfit and Machine Gun. Hey! Good combination. I'm sensing a theme with your picks tonight. Hmm. <laughs> We've seen mini skirts. We've seen swimsuits. And now we're gonna see the classic, the maid outfit, but also a machine and gun. And a machine gun. Have you played this game before, Danny? I have not, no. This is new to me too. A lot of these simple 2000 games aren't really hateable. Like, even if they're bad, they're still... they still got a, a charm to them, you know? I think maybe Come On Baby is the most hateable of the Simple 2000 games. Okay, Come On Baby has anti-charm. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a re it's a gaming repellent. Let's okay, here we go. D3. Only the best. Pride on? Oh dear. Yeah, it's it's Moe. Ah, uh, this is after they invented Moe. Mhm. Mm after the release of Artanelico, never, things were never the same. We had heard of Moe, then we didn't want to hear about it. <laughs> we ch we didn't listen to the warnings. They tried to tell us. Have you ever heard of Moe? They said, and we said no. They're like, and oh, they said, okay, it's going to be nothing but this from now on. Okay. Well. Yeah, the Simple 2000 series got really horny. <laughs> it, it was never not horny. No, it started out with like the bowling and the mahjong. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. And later it was like the horny bowling and the horny, the horny mahjong. <laughs> Boy, graphical detail really took a hit in this game. 
Then again, I guess it's by a different developer. Mm -hmm. I'm saying is that it doesn't live up to the standards of the miniskirt police. We gotta approach this with a critical eye. I also appreciated the more realistic models compared to this uh, this Moe character model they got going on here. <laughs> Yeah, I guess Mahjong has been horny for a while. Oh shit, shit's about to get real. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, you're not gonna... Dude, she got a sidearm and a fucking sniper rifle. And also a nice little headdress for her head. <laughs> no, this looks like we're pretty well equip equipped here. You got any grenades? I could use those. <laughs> you're really good with those. This is more budget feeling than the other games, at least so far. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Not the response I would have had, but probably the best course of action. <laughs> oh shit! What the hell? You could be a flipping around like a fucking Dante or some shit. Yeah, this is basically budget Devil May Cry, from what I can tell so far. That's, that might not be a bad thing. Can you? Okay, you can lock on at least. And once again, speaking I, of truth and advertising, this does have made this clothes is the made and outfit machine, with gun. machine gun. This is literally the made outfit and machine gun. Mm -hmm. That's both of those things. You get them right away. Not so sure about this game. This one's not making as much of an impact as uh, Miniskirt Police did. Yeah, the fork. I actually, uh, I actually did hear that this was a pretty alright action game, and yeah, if they've made other good games before, then yeah, apparently the creators of this game did Adventure Bar Story and Adventure Bar Labyrinth. Oh, I know what those games are. Yeah, those came out on uh, PS Vita via PlayStation Mobile, actually. I switch weapons. Okay, so it looks like after you lock on, you can do like fancy dodges and stuff. Look at this. That's pretty cool. You can like double jump. I just find it amazing that you're a moe fighting smaller moes. <laughs> Us moes should stick together, you know? Switch weapons. There we go. I do like how you can lock on enemies and shoot enemies in front and behind them. That's kind of neat. Well, you're out of oh, there you go. area some more, I guess. This is slowly winning me over. It, it's not terrible. It does have a maid with a machine gun. I'll tell you what, though. You replace these characters with, like, Toho characters, you got a million seller right there. Put that on PS4. I was gonna say, this seems like a bunch of, like, is this a Toho? It should it's be a Toho. It's not a Toho, yeah. This could very easily toho. be Toho's. Okay, now I'm out of ammo, so I gotta... What? You... Maid style. C. So that's, that's what happens when you push the right stick. Only a C, though. Yeah, I'm not that good. I want... I want different weapon. Two hoos. Two hoos. Yeah, this game could definitely benefit from some from some two hoos. You guys, I want to fight you, but I'm out of ammo, and I can't just slap you around like I can in the miniskirt police. 
That's unfortunate. No, for real, what are the other weapons I have? No, not that! <laughs> not now, please! <laughs> oh, uh, shit! Yeah! Get, oh. Holy shit! Don't fuck with this maid! <laughs> oh my god, no! Well, we got 50 bullets to take down this helicopter. Okay, this I like, now that I'm, I'm getting into it. There's a definite t rhythm to the combat. We have to lock on and then very carefully dodge. I could probably use some more bullets though. Especially now. Maybe if I just randomly mash buttons, it'll, I'll do cool stuff again. Here we go. Well, that hurt it. Mm -hmm. However, that doesn't solve my ammo problem. I'm gonna look for ammo. Going with the old mash buttons technique. It's never let me down before. Someone gave the Moe a gun. Look how fancy I am, though. I got some moves. Mado style. <laughs> also, you have a sword, so you should use that when you. I would love to do that. However, none of the buttons really seem to do that. It's only when I start mashing buttons that mm. she does other things. Hey, there we go. Just chop it. Oh, Done. God. We did it. With the sword. Yeah, I recommend looking at this game's controls before you try and play it, because that's kind of important. <laughs> yeah. But, you know what? I played worse. This is okay. That seems, that seems alright. Yeah. <clears throat> Pardon. It's a cheapo Devil May Cry ripoff, which, you know, not many people were doing that back then. I am the worst maid ever. <laughs> That's horrible. That's the maid clothes and machine gun. I'm gonna go ahead and recommend that one. I, I think this one could be fun if you really get into it. It's a little awkward at first, but, you know, you can't beat a maid with a, a machine gun and a sniper rifle and a sword. I didn't know she even a had a sword. And a headdress. She's, she's very well dressed for the occasion. Yeah, if you see the maid outfit and machine gun, go ahead and pick it up, because that's a good time, guaranteed. And chat's letting you know, you're not the worst, you're just the most average. Yeah, C is average. C is passing. It's not like I got an E or something. Alright, next on the docket, it looks like we gotta do... Is that the people of Neko Village? Oh, really? Yeah. Not another booby game? No! Are you sure? Yeah! Alright, next up is the Nekomura no Hitobito, or the people of Neko Village. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that they're cats. They're probably cats. This one's also gonna be new to me. I haven't played this one. All right, with that title, you better blow me away, game. I expect to see cats living in a peaceful society with one another. All right, this does seem to be cat-related. Yeah, what if they are cat girls? Oh, could be. Vinked. Oh no, they're cats. Yep. Ah, Good. Old fashioned cats. <coughs> Long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, 
there was a village full of something called Neko. But... Let's skip this. We all know the story of the cat people who I live mean, in yeah. Nekomura. Uh, yes? No? Keep picking these options. We'll find something. Nope, that's our collection. <coughs> this one. Oh, no, more collection stuff. There's a game here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. We'll find the game. <coughs> options? Alright. It's gotta be this one. I see. No, I got this now. Here we go. We're doing it, folks. Here comes the game. Uh. This guy's alright. Yeah. Okay. Let's go here. We've talked to the Pug King. Mm -hmm. Now we can go out on our quest. Alex, what's our quest? Uh, be a cat. Okay, can do. Look at this. Look at this. What do buttons do? Got a meow button. I like that. Okay. How do I do anything? <laughs> Looks like I'm telling him to go in a certain formation or something. Mm -hmm. It is pretty adorable. I just wish I knew what uh -huh. I was doing. Looks like what you got for the resources, or...? Okay. Oh look, there's a stick. And you can fight with that. Oh my god, it's Pikmin. You beautiful bastards did it. You made Pikmin <laughs> with little tiny kitties. That... that's so good. Oh, man. Here's the problem. I don't know how to play Pikmin. <laughs> I've never actually played a Pikmin game. Oh man, that's a problem because we're gonna get owned by this Oni here. Mashing buttons, there we go. Hey, there we go. Kick his ass. Yeah, yeah. There nice. we go. Dude, this is so Pikmin. What the hell? That's awesome. <laughs> Oh man, unfortunately you're not gonna get much out of me playing this game because I know so little about Pikmin. This is but so I know cute. enough that yeah, this is straight up Pikmin but with tiny kitties. That's kinda great. Yeah, eat that. There you go. Okay, you can tell him to harvest materials and stuff. Adorable. Yeah, I need to first learn how to play this game and then play more of it because it looks like this game looks like it could be extremely my shit. Oh, and oh, when they drop resources, you can collect. I don't have kitties to get it. Yeah, I don't. Oh man, what a cool game! So that's the the risk you take with Simple Two Thousand. Sometimes you end up with some garbage, and sometimes you end up with. Really cute original oh, stuff like the cage. this. Go to the cage. Oh, okay. I see. It is another cat, so you can get other cats. Okay, yeah, That's you're cool. assembling a little army, much like you do in Pikmin. Great. Oh, this game's great. Okay, uh -huh. I will be returning to this you in the future. We'll be returning to the people of Neko Village. Because, Once I figure yeah. out how this game's played, we'll uh, we'll feature it again because this definitely looks like something worth looking into. Uh -huh. Just look at that little cat. 
Look at these little cats. That's great. All right. It's a it's a simple 2000 game without boobs. Can you imagine? They finally. actually they did it. It took them 180 games, but they finally did it. Why is that cat giving me the stink eye now? <laughs> Whatever. We got more games to go. Come on. All right. What's next? Next is uh the cat fight. Sticking to the theme, I see. Uh, I assume this is another game starring very cute kitties in a cute little adventure. You assume it's not going to be horny? Probably not, no. I can't see how this can be horny in any, any way. Then again, it is called the cat fight. Place your votes now. Is this game horny or not horny? Whatever it is, hopefully it's two players, so have your controller ready. We're going to have a cat fight. Another classic from Tamsoft. Boy, they did a ton of work in the Simple 2000 series, I tell you what. They had to have done at least like half the games in the series. Well, ah, you were okay. 100% wrong. Well, there's my answer. <laughs> this is, this a is horny the cat game. fight. <laughs> the horny game. What is the horny game? Let's do a quick versus match. Okay, got a bunch of ladies to pick from. I'm still with the glasses, because I'm like, oh, I can't see. Yeah. Why am I here? And I go home. I'm wearing glasses, too. Oh, God. It's glasses Neither of us glasses. can see. Okay, it looks like you can choose your outfit, but uh, only bikini is unlocked. So go ahead and pick circle. Midnight okay. City. Midnight City, hey. Sorry, I, I know. Let's have a cat fight in the Midnight City. Living in the city! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is secretly Sonic R. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> well... We're fighting. <laughs> oh my god, our animation! The way we run! Dude, 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 oh, that's dude, hilarious! Dude, dude. Oh shit! Whoa, it's nice close Larry. Larry. Oh my god! I guess it's not. I guess it's a close one, not a Larry. Come here, you! Wow. Oh my god! Oh, yeah, spinning bird kick. Oh god, okay. Damn! <laughs> this, this is stupid! This is real stupid! Oh, oh god! Not one of uh, Tamsoft's greatest moments here. Are we wearing gloves? I think we are. Yeah. I guess Actually, we're going by MMA we rules, got gloves on. Oh yeah. So from from what I can tell, the circle button does the coolest attacks. Oh damn. Yeah. Just a cage fight on a rooftop in the middle of the night. Between two women with no clothes on. That's simple 2000, baby. <laughs> Welcome to the adventure, pals. I assume the box art would be more clear about what the uh, the game actually is, so there won't be any surprises I... when you pick up the cat fight. You want to do one more? Sure. Make sure I don't injure you too much. I'll be a nerd. Let's do Sunshine Beach. Sunshine. It's such a nice day. Let's go outside and slap the shit out of each other. Sounds good. Man, I vaguely remember playing this game. I think it actually has uh, mud wrestling in it. Mm. And the mud looks super bad. I don't know if you can do that here in versus mode or not. Who will win? Me. You. Oh, 
Oh god. Oh, there's a chair. Oh shit. Oh no. 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 This hopefully comes across in the footage, but this game does not play very well. This game plays It's kind of interesting. It's kind of like they realized uh, they don't need to make such a great game when they have a good concept like this. Ow! I'm gonna kick you on the ground. Can I do that? Shit. Oh, it's serious now. By the way, the girl you're playing as is the girl from the Dive Eaton game. Are you kidding? Really? Yep. <laughs> That's why I gotta go. I know at some point they released a, a fighting game featuring characters from a whole bunch of Simple 2000 I know games. that her name, she's apparently Rhea something, and she's like a kind of mascot. Closest camps I ever got for a mascot during this era. Mm. God, you're kicking my ass. There's a gun! There we go. No, no, no. You're dead. You are fucking dead. Help. You are so Help. fucking dead. She had a gun that wasn't who threw a machine gun in the middle of the ring? Oh my god! That's, that's awesome. Oh, ow! I, I love Simple 2000. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, her name is Rio Kukaba, by the way. Nice. Links has a for sure. She wins. And she then had she's a gonna gun. become a giant. A gun! I, I love these games. You can just... Oh, this is so good. There's just a gun sometimes. <laughs>